with the features. She bad, just a misdemeanor. Sick with it, I might catch a fever. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the sub. Subscriber right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Let me open your banger and you exclusivity will definitely be notified. So Francis Ngano is back. Um after many months layoff, and of course him suffering a tragic loss. Um passing off his um 15 month old son may he continue to rest in peace life is cruel though look at it sometimes i wonder why you know bad things happen to good people francis gano is a good guy you can tell from the way he, he talks he carries himself what he's been through the guy has literally no malice in his heart for anybody so, we are forced to sometimes face the purity of nature and of life. Yeah, it's crazy. Now, Ngano spoke about he, he did an interview with um, Joe Rogan. Spoke about the Fury fight, his life so far, the Joshua fight. He said he he felt something went wrong. By the way, big ups to my brothers at African Fighters for this um, poster right here. You see right here, made by them. Big up to them and I go support them. The African Fighters go on Instagram. They're doing a good job, a great job, I must say. And so Ngano spoke on something very interesting. So he said he revealed the pre-fight ordeal even before the fight. Even before the fight, he said before the fight, I felt off, sweating, but exhausted. Like I was asleep. I was asleep. Says Francis Gano about this match again. I saw it live though. Why I was basically yawning? I saw him yawning. Like I was like, oh, this guy go about to sleep right now. I know what happens. You know, I think Gano. I think he has nothing to do with the organizers. I think Gano to adjust the time you know they wait they have to wait and sometimes when you like sometimes when i'm at work right if i sit down without doing anything maybe without being busy i get tired i don't know why but if i'm busy i get energetic it happens to fighters as well you know when you are a fighter you want to be active you want to be in the ring and you want to be warming up on Ghana they didn't warm up a lot in the um, pre Joshua fight, it didn't warm up. I didn't. I didn't seem to warm up. That's why you see Joshua always do warm up, because it keeps you like fit. It keeps you um, energetic, and keeps you keeps your mind a lot. You know, it's just one of those things that happen. So I think this is literally an excuse from Ngano, and maybe he doesn't understand his body yet. UFC, I'm not saying in terms like UFC is different from boxing. Um, he says the organizers had something to do with it. He felt like they wanted time out. But boxers sometimes have to like. I remember there was a time when Canelo, fought, I don't know who Canelo fought the game, but Canelo fought someone. And that on that night, the UFC was also, it was a big UFC fight. And they had to delay the Canelo fight so that out before, so that the UFC after the UFC fight they can, uh, so that they can the audience can switch to Canelo fight after the UFC fight. And Canelo was there just laying and laying down and you know waiting and stuff like that. He still won the fight. Boxers are used to things like that delays, and sometimes you know you want to make other. Like sometimes some fights you expect to finish early doesn't uh, like go to distance. It happens. So let's hear from Ghana though. No, nobody expected me to do anything. Here, they were expecting me to do something. So things played played out a little different. And then we get in the fight week, 
and then um, every time that we're gonna do something in the five week uh, whether it's media they're gonna pick me up and then I get there have to wait like one hour and a half before he arrives and there was like uh, maybe the third day of the week that Dewey, Dewey Cooper, he said, oh, he started to get really uh, mad, uh, upset about it. Like, yes, this is how they, get, they do to get fired or tired. But at the time, I didn't know what was going on, you know, mm. or even a little lighter. But things plays out different. So I'm like, no, come uh, relax, Dewey. It's okay. You know, I didn't know until we get to the fight day. Fight day, we receive an email, pick up time. I mean, this one thing I'm among others. Pick up time, uh, 10.30 from the hotel. And then when they say 10.30, by 10.20, there is a car in your door waiting. We go to the supposedly five, five time, mean, between midnight to 1 a.m. We get to to the arena, ten forty five. So well, it's a long, uh, basically conversation, and uh, you go watch the full conversation on Joe Rogan's uh, podcast. Very entertaining, very interesting, and very in, like with a lot of insight. Very insightful. Uh, you get to know Gano like he cried. You know, I talking about his fifteen month old uh, son that passed away. And gone, no doubt, is needed in the sport, basically. Um, you have to understand the reason why Ngano is as successful as he is. Of course, he's not a, he, isn't, he hasn't earned a lot of money like the rest of his counterparts, for example, Conamarago, you know. But, He's one guy that is that dares to be great, you know. And they said his next fight is gonna be a MMA fight, EFL. You know, he has a contract with them and stuff like that. They have good thing going on there. And PFL, I think, has been acquired by Saudi Arabia or part of the PFL. Gano should just focus on his next fight. Boxing is gonna be there for him. There'll always be. A big fight for him right there. I would love to see him gonna fight with Water, Deontay Water though. I would love to see that. You know why? Because I believe Gano and Water would be a blockbuster fight. You don't know what to expect. Water has the Water has the power to knock a tank out. But the problem right now is that Water has been very cautious of putting his right hand. Gano would also be very, very confident in his uh, ability to win the fight. This is what will make the fight very interesting. I would love to see that though. What do you guys think of Ngano's um, um, statement regarding Joshua Fight saying he was tired out and the organizers? Probably robbed him of a win or opportunity to compete. I don't think I, before prior to the fight, I thought it was gonna be like, you know, yeah, it was gonna be like um, a very very um interesting fight and fast. I I thought it was I thought it would be sixty forty, but after seeing them like damn man, Joshua surprised us all. But Joshua has been. Joshua has never been given his due credit. Look at the names he has in his, res- in his resume and people he's beaten so far. He's never gotten the credit he deserves. He rightfully deserves. But yeah, he will get it. And I hope he does because he's the face of everywhere boxing. You know, he's always been the face. Even despite people trying to talk him down, stuff like that, Joshua has always been that guy. And you can't turn away from him. Fact. Stay blessed, guys. God bless you. And catch you in the next. She bad, just a misdemeanor. Sick.